In this video, we will explain how to recycle mattresses into new raw materials. The initial stage involves unloading the mattresses from containers at the factory. After that, the mattresses are placed on a weighing machine using an electric crane and then follow their path on a conveyor belt. The mattresses are then carefully disassembled. Springs, foam, and other materials are automatically separated using an engineered system, ensuring optimal material separation for effective recycling. An internal metal detector scans the mattresses. Mattresses with and without metal springs each follow their own recycling paths accordingly. The mattresses are then sawed open, and the fabric coverings are removed using specially developed stripping rollers. The textiles are stored separately, pressed into bales, and reused in the textile industry. Foam materials, including memory foam and polyurethane foam, undergo a different recycling process. The foam is shredded into small pieces and then compressed into large bales. The production process results in large rolls of polyurethane foam, which are steamed into flakes, bonded, and compressed into cylinders through a mechanical process. The foam can be manufactured in different densities, thicknesses, and sizes to meet specific requirements. This customization allows it to be tailored for various applications, ensuring optimal performance. Durability and resilience. Recycled foam retains its integrity over time, providing long-lasting performance in various settings. It is resistant to wear and tear, making it suitable for high traffic areas. From these cylinders, the foam can be cut to the desired thickness and length, serving as insulation material and padding for sports flooring, turf mats, and playgrounds. The process of making rubber tiles begins with the shredding of used tires, starting with the collection of used tires that are transported to the facility and loaded onto a conveyor belt system. This conveyor belt ensures a steady and controlled flow of tires into the crasher machine, optimizing the efficiency of the entire operation. The crasher machine is a crucial component in the recycling process. It is a sturdy piece of equipment equipped with heavy-duty rotating blades or hammers that shred the tires into smaller, more manageable pieces. As the tires enter the crasher, they are subjected to intense mechanical forces that break them down into chunks. The capacity of these machines varies, but many industrial-grade crasher machines can process several tons of tires per hour, ensuring that the factory can handle large volumes of used tires daily. After the tires are shredded, the pieces are transported to a separation system where different materials are extracted. The primary components separated are rubber, steel, and textile fibers. The steel is removed using powerful magnets and then sent to steel recycling facilities. The textile fibers are also separated and processed for reuse. The remaining rubber pieces are further ground down into granules or powder, depending on the desired end product. In the production of rubber tiles, the rubber granules undergo several additional processing stages. First, the granules are thoroughly cleaned to remove any remaining contaminants. This is essential to ensuring the quality and durability of the final product. The clean granules are then mixed with a binding agent, typically a polyurethane-based adhesive, which helps hold the rubber particles together. This mixture is crucial for ensuring that the tiles have the necessary structural integrity and resilience.
the next stage involves molding the rubber mixture into tiles. The prepared rubber mix is poured into molds that define the shape and size of the tiles. These molds are then subjected to a process called vulcanization, where the rubber is heated and cured. Vulcanization enhances the physical properties of the rubber, making it more durable, elastic, and resistant to various environmental factors such as UV rays, moisture, and temperature fluctuations. During vulcanization, the molds are placed in a heated press, where they are subjected to high pressure and temperature. This process not only cures the rubber but also ensures that the tiles are formed precisely according to the mold specifications. The duration of the vulcanization process can vary depending on the thickness and composition of the tiles, but it typically takes several minutes per batch. After vulcanization, the tiles are removed from the molds and allowed to cool. They are then inspected for quality control purposes. This inspection involves checking for any defects, ensuring that the tiles meet the required dimensions, and confirming that the surface finish is smooth and consistent. Any tiles that do not meet the stringent quality standards are recycled back into the production process, minimizing waste. The entire process, from shredding used tires to producing finished rubber tiles, highlights the efficiency and sustainability of recycling operations. By transforming waste tires into valuable products, the factory not only reduces environmental impact but also contributes to the circular economy. The rubber tiles produced are versatile and can be used in various applications, including playground surfaces, gym flooring, and outdoor paving, providing durable and eco-friendly solutions for a variety of settings.